Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. We are here with new opportunity every day. So today we will discuss about fully funded scholarship in China. And this scholarship is particularly for session 2022-2023. So you have enough time to prepare and apply. We will discuss about fully funded scholarship and it's provided by the BIT Chinese Government Scholarship. It's also known as CSC Scholarship. So we will discuss about how to get scholarship to pursue masters and PhD under these scholarships and how to apply for the admissions and how to apply for the scholarships as well we will discuss about in in a while before that let me remind you if you are watching this video for the first time or have previously watched our videos but have not subscribed yet please do press that red subscribe button and press the thumbs up button so that you can like this video this encourages us and motivates us to do more if you have any doubt you can just comment down below the video you can also follow us on instagram or username is full scholarships you can also message us on Instagram and ask for any link or any doubt you have. We will also guide you on regarding documents. Now to get to this scholarship page, just check the video description of YouTube below. The link is given there. Click on video description and then click on more. The link is given on the top. First link is this Chinese scholarship link. So once you click on the link given in the video description, it will take you to the website here. Once you land on this website, you can read your details and on your own so now you can check this is Beijing Institute of Technology and its short form is BIT this is one of the top institutions in the world and it's valued for its work so you can check more details about BIT scholarship so you can check courses offered and these courses are taught in English so you don't need IELTS as well if your previous course was in English just yes, you need to get proficiency certificate from your previous institute stating that your course was taught in English language the deadline for this particular Chinese opportunity is April 15, 2022. So you have almost 4 months, 5 months to prepare and apply for this particular scholarship. Here is the eligibility criteria and here are the benefits of this scholarship. Here are some details about documents required. These involve some basic application form, CV, resume, recommendation letter, personal statement and recommendations, physical examinations if you have any then the application process is completely online so you have to follow our steps and then fill the application process now once you read these details on your own i am reminding you again if you have not subscribed our youtube channel please do subscribe before we proceed to application now once you have done reading these details then just click on this apply button given at the end of this post just click on this page here it will take you to the official international students website here you can check scholarships page so it's postgraduate scholarship for Beijing Institute of Technology here are given the graduate programs English programs and master's programs taught in English also Chinese so you can choose any one which you are applying to then there's the application procedure step one step two step three all steps are mentioned here first only we need to do is just register for the admissions and then add the campuschina.org website for the scholarships so let's fill the application form and after application form we need to fill the scholarship as well so we have given details of the agency like agent BIT is so we have to fill these details we will show in guide so now just copy this link here and open it in a new tab once you click on that it will take you to this website here this is the admission book and admission page now just click on this admissions and then click on postgraduate once you click on that postgraduate it will take you to the courses page here you can check all courses are listed here so just choose your favorite course for example computer science and technology i am interested in i just click on that link once i click on that link it will take you to the course page here you can read about the course and at the top right you can check apply button is given here just click on this apply online button once you click on that apply online button it will take you to the sign in page if you have previously signed in you can use the same email and password if you are new just click on register register your email and verify from your email then use the same username and password and just sign in once you sign this portal will show in front of you once you are logged in successfully just tick this i have read the regulations and click on agree and continue then click on undergraduate masters whichever course you are looking for but scholarship is available for masters only then choose that master's program and click on next button so the processing page here you can check top courses are mentioned here so just choose the course that you are interested in 
so i am looking for the computer science in english language here i have choose now click on apply button here so wait it's processing now we need to fill the details basic details study plan educational employment and then application form and review so you have to fill these details so let me quickly fill these details after photo upload just the passport name and choose the stats gender choose the nationality so wait this page might take few seconds to load now once the page is loaded just choose the country then birth then choose the native language then choose the religion then choose the occupation and here on the left hand side choose the date of birth after choosing date of birth choose the place of birth highest level of education then employer affiliate institute which university do you work and whether is chinese mainland current location so we have no current location in china immigrant no then choose the passport number and the expiry date of that passport and then you have to this location will be location of visa office then click on save and next it should take you to the study plan here you can check choose the english proficiency and if you have any scores you can submit that however then recommendation so you can say educational fair uh, who was your recommender so you can say website then choose the full scholarship details just fill the details fill our details here and fill the little details use the email then click on save and next then education and employment so your educational degree when did you attend your like bachelor's degree choose the year choose the date till and choose the institution where did you do studied your previous course your bachelor's just choose the country choose the university name field of study and then level of education and then have you ever studied in china say yes or no accordingly do you have work experience no have you worked in no then now you need to add the chinese government scholarship application form now keep this blank so that i will show you how to get this now add these documents all documents here once you add that documents you need to go to the let me upload these so here you can check i have uploaded all mandatory documents these are just sample documents to show you how to fill application then click on save and next it should go to next now we can check additional information so family just add the family like you have to add the details then choose the nationality of your father and mother these must not be uh, in, from the china so you can add you can add the workplace and then choose the nationality
then have you ever a criminal record say yes or no if you have any financial guarantor like your uh, in case you don't get any scholarships this is just a formality in case you don't get scholarship please do not join you can skip this university but still just submit the guarantee name then guarantee in china if you have any you can however you can use the father's detail it's not mandatory then click on save and next so now contact info and zip same as home country then just choose the full uh, details of your contact then how do you collect admission notes so application or collect it from this then click on save and next now you can review the form and here you can check filled then click on submit so before submission let me show you that what we need to do is just go to this additional info and for additional info we need to go to this and here you can check scholarship government scholarship form now we need to collect this form first so let me show you how to fill this go back to the first page here now you copy this link for the first time now copy this campuschina.org link for scholarships click on this link here once you click on that link it will take you to the here this page now you can check one thing here you can check app scholarship application for students click on this link here once you click on that link it will take you to the login page just sign up and fill the login details Once you have your details, just click on sign in. So let's re verify. Now click on sign in. So the validation code must go correctly. Okay, so now click on sign in. So it should go through. Now you can check scholarship application form. Just read details. Now click on app online application online here. So you have to fill the scholarship application form. Just choose the details as per mentioned here. Now you need to choose this agent one triple zero seven. Here is compulsory. So here you can check application stats unsubmitted. You need to add all these details personal details click on personal details just you need to fill these tabs one by one and then print application form this you have to download once you download this application form you have to go to this login portal and choose this scholarship form here you have to download the application here you have to print the application form here scholarship application just the page is loading here you can check it's loading once your page is loaded successfully there are some notifications in chinese but let's wait for the page to load so there are some notifications continuously if you have any translator regarding that you can translate them in google also so you should wait and download the scholarship application form and then just add this scholarship application form here and once everything is done go to the application form preview 
and once your every, every document is submitted click on this submit button and then click on ok so you can check your application has been submitted click on ok so you can also download this application form for your reference also you can go to the home and you can check online application all uh, details are here so you can check airport pickup online payment everything is mentioned on this portal i hope you have understood these processes and if you like this video please do subscribe our channel and press the thumbs up button also you can check the link in the video description for going to this scholarship page i hope you have liked this video and please do subscribe i am signing off for full scholarships have a nice day ahead